with our next guest, who is the co-founder and owner of Top Round Roast Beef here in Los Angeles and in Texas, by the way. And today he's preparing a classic roasted chicken pot pie. Please welcome back executive chef Stephen Fretz. Welcome back, Stephen. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks for having me. This looks good. This smells good. We said chicken pot pie, and Cameron said when? Yeah. Well, I did. Can, yeah. can't. Wait, look at they all have their own. I mean, so excited. Really? Is there a better meal the, for the winter time? Oh, than chicken pot pie. And it's really yeah. easy. It's because it's a one pot wonder. Yeah. You just throw it all in one oh, pot. Oh, right? There you go. Well, not and always. You're teaching us how to make a chicken pot pie only using one really? skillet. So the whole thing yeah. is taken. You guys dig in there, Maria. They did. They did get their individual ones. Those Isn't are really cool. Yeah. Now, I love that this chicken pot pie is all root vegetables. It's all winter vegetables. All, all vegetable. You can you can make it all veg, vegetables if you want, but we're going to add chicken. Well, this I, is you the know. winter vegetables specifically. I'm yeah, doing. we have turnips and we have Ooh. parsnips and carrots and onions and um, oh all the, the mirepoix so vegetables good. that you would expect to have. I love it. So we have um, them sauteing here in the, in the cast iron. We're going to have them saute here for a little while. Well, but they've been going. They're a little tender right now. Okay. But we're going to put a little bit of, a little bit of uh, flour. We want right. to save just a little bit for the puff pastry. Okay. But kind of it's just something like that. Just you make know? a little roux? Make a little roux. We're going to add our fresh thyme. I love it. Right in there. Okay. Um, we're going to throw in a little salt and pepper. We love salt and pepper, you know. You see, this is so simple. There's a reason why it really like, chef food tastes good. It's because we season our food. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> I know. Well, sometimes a lot of people can over mm -hmm. uh, season. I agree can, completely. I think that's where a dish can go from right to wrong very quickly. So you just, ah, uh, it smells so good. It smells so good. You just want to just want to incorporate the, the little bit of butter that was in there with the flour, right? Oh, it was butter. It was butter. Oh, that okay. made all those vegetables look that pretty. That. How long do you have to cook the root vegetables on top for them to become tender? Is it a long time? Ten minutes. Oh, that's it, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add a little bit of chicken stock, chicken broth, okay. right? Then some, so oh, yummy, heavy cream or milk? This is milk. Okay, and here's the heavy cream. A little bit of milk. Why both milk and heavy cream? Uh, it's cheaper that way. <laughs> oh my God, Are you serious? Well, I mean, it is. You know. <laughs> and it does the same thing? It does the same thing, <laughs> right? So we're going to let that cook for about five minutes. Okay, until right? it comes together. Until it comes together, gets thick. It starts to thicken up, and then it looks like this one over here. It looks like this one over here. So what we're going to do over here, right? So it gets all nice and thick oh, and beautiful. beautiful. I would and, eat it just like that. Oh, yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah. But the and then we add our beautiful yeah, roasted throw that chicken. In. Throw that right? in. So couldn't you just get one of those chickens that they sell at the market and just rip it? That's kind of what this. I, I, when we came up with this recipe, that's kind of what it's about. You know, just uh, I, I call it a savage chicken. You know, you always have a chicken in your fridge at home. Yeah. Um, but uh, we just put that on there. And uh, you can have your chicken pick your pick your meat off. Yeah. You can cut it. You can do however however you want. And I incorporate this like that. And do you get it, it all mixed in. A little bit, yeah. Okay, just to get it mixed in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now here's the fun part. So you don't have to make your own puff pastry. Just buy good puff well, pastry. Well, I mean, if you're gonna make your own puff pastry, um, uh, whew, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it takes a long time. It's, it's, it's a humdinger. Yeah, um, it is a humdinger. I like but, that word. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lightly, just lightly, put a little bit of. You want to kind of be more on the inside because you don't want them dripping on the outside. That's so not, why that's are we putting good. the egg wash on the skillet? Um, it helps. It's glue. Oh, right. Okay. Right? The second it gets hot, it yeah. seizes up. <laughs> so now we uh, roll that out and we put this beautiful so puff pastry on top. Beautiful puff pastry that we rolled out. And But I know one of your tips is you want to make sure that the cast iron skillet is cooled before you put the puff pastry You want on. it to be cooled because you want to keep the puff pastry as cold as you can, as long as you can. Okay. Um, because once you once you put it into the oven, it's, it's you know, puff pastry is made of butter. Oh, so good. Yeah, <laughs> so it is not good for you. Are you looking for a knife? <laughs> no. What are you looking um, for? No, I have nothing. Oh, so okay. we're going to wash this up. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah, okay. Come on. okay, chef. Get going. This is what we're going to do, which means what I'm going to do. I love this. I will help you at any day at any of your restaurants. So what are we going to do with that excess puff pastry on the side? We love it. We Just let it. it hang? Yeah. Okay, why not? Should we fold it back over and make it pretty? If you want. Yeah, I think we should. <laughs> you know, our TV magic one won't look like that. Oh, that's okay. There we go. Look at that. You don't want to waste the puff pastry. It's no, too good. No, no, no. And that's do you put any holes in it or anything? Nope, no holes. Just like that? No, you want okay. it to puff. You want it to puff, which it almost makes it look like a... Um, 
like a souffle. Mm -hmm. it comes out all puffy. All right, mm -hmm. so now some. Some sea salt right on top. Nice. The sea salt's amazing. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. It's, it's yeah. amazing what a little salt does. Yeah. <laughs> a little salt, a little butter, you're good to go. All right, so we're going to put yeah, this in oh, for how long? We got muscles over here. Oh, boy, let's okay. see. Oh, all right, yeah. okay. Oh, my gosh, that's heavy. I know. Okay. How long does that go in for? That goes in for about 30 minutes. Okay. So what we have here now, we'll put this over here. At what temperature? Uh, about 400 degrees. Okay, so it's pretty high. So Hello. this thing, it's... it's oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, that's that's right to it. That is, that is something else. Woo. Oh, my gosh. Um, I love it. It's yeah, even. so, you know, it's uh, it's all there. It's all in one. <laughs> all <there. He> is <laughs> I got to say this, too. family love this? There you go. Uh... I don't think I've ever cooked this for the oh, family. You're kidding. No. You should. I mean, I yeah. Because here's, okay. here's a pet peeve of mine when there's not enough kind of chicken breast in my wow. chicken pot pie, right? You've got I the agree. best ratio in there. Yeah. It's predominantly chicken and then with some veggies as well. So that's yeah. a great Yeah, and you can have as much fun. You know, you get into springtime, you can put spring vegetables in there. But you the know, root your... vegetables are really nice. That's yeah. like a heartiness that's yeah. not usual. And I totally good. agree. Yeah. I got to ask you about top mm. round roast beef. What's okay. new? Mm. Catch us up. What's going on? Okay, uh, we have a couple new locations coming in the next four Four months. Um, we have we already have a Dallas location. We're going to open a, a second Dallas location. Good for you. It's downtown. Um, that opens in probably three months, and then uh, we have uh, a top round going in Irvine mm. Spectrum down in Orange County. Man. And that opens right after Dallas. We're looking forward and to I that. And I think some really great news here is we could potentially maybe get a reservation at the restaurant. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's my big takeaway from all of this. <laughs>